Lamar Woodley Show. I'm your host, Lamar Woodley. And I'm your co-host, Michelle Newell. Today we're at the Pittsburgh Firehouse Number 8 in East Liberty. Why are we here today, Lamar? Is this a special place for you? Yeah, just to show how important that, uh, you know, being a firefighter is all about. A lot of people understand the importance of a fireman. You know, definitely the job that they do each and every day, fighting fires, their schedule. I mean, it's hectic. And, you know, I wanted to come here and just show a little respect for them. Now, wasn't your dad a policeman before he went to the Marines? Yeah, my dad was a police officer for 25 years. Mm -hmm. And um, the firehouse used to be connected to the police station. And I remember, um, you know, playing around in the, on the fire truck, taking some pictures. Uh, if I could find them, I definitely would show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so you liked having fun in the firehouse. Like, it was fun for you. It was fun for me. I knew I wasn't going to fight no fires, but, you know, just have an <laughs> opportunity to play on the fire truck. And, you know, having a little fire trucks at home and then coming down and actually playing on the real thing was unbelievable. And today we're going to be on the real fire truck too because you're going to get a chance to tour this place. Oh, hopefully they let me um, drive the truck a little <laughs> bit uh, and maybe go stand on the ladder. Hopefully I can do that and just find out more about, you know, some of the equipment that's on the fire truck and how much yeah. the equipment weigh. I, I really want to know that. You know, you see things on TV, but you really don't know. It's different when you're actually there. I don't think you will go all the way up the ladder, though. Like, if you get on there, you think you'll go all the way up? Oh, I'll go all the way to the top. I, ain't, I don't, I don't, I don't think scared. you will. I'll go all the way to the top. <laughs> I'll put the suit on and go all the way to the top. But you did go all the way to the top on the game. It was a great game. You doubled up on your stats. It was good for you. It was a good win for you. I think it was a, it was a, good, a good win for everybody, not only individually, some of the things that I've did, but to go out there and get a win. You know, definitely come off the loss against um, Houston and having an opportunity to come back here to Heinz Field mm -hmm. and um, definitely when everybody was counting us out because we had a lot of guys injured, banged up, quarterback mm -hmm. was hurt, um, three starters on defense was banged up, but guys yeah. came in there and they played a huge role. Guys like Ziggy Hood, uh, Chris Hope, Larry Foote, those guys that started on this defense before. So we wasn't worried about anything. You know, all week I seen on ESPN, different radio shows about the Steelers, you know, there's counting yeah. us out. And it's too early in the season to be counting us out. Yeah. Because there's a long season. You have 16 games, and uh, 16 games we lost two and we won two. Well, mm -hmm. we won three now. And um, so it's just a long season. And a lot of teams show up early, but a lot of teams don't show up late. Yeah. And now we're starting to play at the right time. Okay. Going to that, going into the schedule. And later on, we're going to have a lot of guys back that's going to be ready to come out and play. Yeah, was your mindset different for this game? Because you hear all of the negative feedback about how you've been playing, about how your team's been playing. Were you thinking about that on Sunday's game, or were you just focused on winning? I mean, we're just focused on winning. We can't let anything or anybody from the outside influence our team because people are always trying to find a way to break up the team. Mm -hmm. And people are always looking for an excuse why we're losing. And when you're losing, you have a lot of – a lot of people from the outside definitely can point fingers. We just paid Lamar all this money. He's not showing up. Yeah, because that's what they were yeah, saying. This guy's yeah. not showing up. That guy's not showing up. But everybody in the organization know the role that I play on this team. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand that I'm more than just a pass rusher. I also um, drop back in coverage where I have to cover receivers. So I have a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. in playing outside linebacker here. Um, so I think that, you know, we went in there Sunday. We played all around a great game. Yeah, you know, it was a good game. With, with the backups in there, I had an opportunity to explode and maybe win some fans back, <laughs> you know, from, you know, not doing anything. Last time they said they heard of me, I got paid, and I ran away. Okay, well, it's, it's good that we're here. Didn't you know somebody that worked here? Do you know someone that worked at this place? Yeah, Ed Fields. He works okay. here, and um, that's how we got in. That's good great. Good friend of mine, yeah. That's great. So yeah. I'm sure our viewers are looking forward to seeing Lamar go around the firehouse. This is the Lamar Willie Show on Hoopla TV. Guess what these do? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What about? Yeah, you can that one right there. You have his hands up. DMT? Oh, <laughs> Now, this same thing for like, what is this used for exactly? Same thing. We use this end for cutting into buildings, cutting into walls, whatever we need to do. If we need to pound something, we have a hammerhead on this side. These will be used to pop doors or we could hook this into, say, a drywall wall yeah. and pull it down, or a drywall closet or a ceiling to okay. pull some down. But this is a different truck, huh? Yeah, this is a ladder truck. We have two different rigs here. Okay, this one's an engine. It carries water. This one's our ladder truck. It's used for rescue. It's used for ventilation of the building. So if there's too much smoke built up in there, fires in the walls, it's a top floor fire, put the ladders up and cut a hole in the roof to allow some of that smoke and some oh, of that heat to get out okay, of there. Okay. Protect the occupants of the building, protect the firefighters that are looking for the, that are looking oh, for okay. the fire to find it. Right. Look at this, man. 
I'm like a kid. I like this. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a great job to have. All right, let me know when to stop. I'll keep going. I'm going to take a little while. I'm Yeah, I might go halfway. Nah, I'm not going all the way to the peak. All right. Yeah, I'll go up halfway. It's like a roller coaster ride. I just watch you do it. No, I ain't going all the way to the top. I ain't going. Yeah, but right here, good enough for me. Ooh, hell no. No way. Oh, let me. Let me come. Oh, just. Okay. Yeah, you never worry about me going to the top. I <laughs> know. Over here in the kitchen area. Who's the uh, who's the best cook? Got it right here. <laughs> is that for us? Can we have some of that? Yeah, absolutely. This is what you're eating. Some Thank baked ziti. Made some extra for you. all Made with a little bit of love. Oh, it looks great. Oh. It looks great. And we all like to sit down together and eat as a family. <laughs> As a second family, because our first family is around. So, we're ready to go. We made, we made plenty for you. Oh, good. This is our chipboard. When fires come in, units are out of service, we move everything over to this side in the order that these rigs are available. What's the purpose? So each one of these chips represents our rig. These are engines, and then these are ladder trucks. Okay. And then these are the chiefs. And it shows us if there's a fire going in, we put it over here. Okay. Move the move the rigs over, and then they'll transfer rigs to other firehouses. Okay. okay. And that allows better coverage for the um, for the rest of the city. Even if we're eating, we just drop them for door. We go. So, so we can get a call at any time right now. Anytime. Anytime. We can be we can be rolling out. Well, of here you'll be here. here. Yeah. Um, Did you want to take a look upstairs? Oh yeah. Okay, Lamar? Yeah, that's a work. <laughs> 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 this is our bunk room. Oh, wow. This looks like a dorm room. It is a dorm room, basically. <laughs> How many people are using that station every night? There's um, eight plus the chief, so nine total. The chief has his office, the captain has his office, the lieutenant has his office. Oh, okay. I'm going to say, if everybody's out here, I make, put them together and make a key. <laughs> Actually, it does. <laughs> it does happen that some of these bunks don't get used. Oh. So this is your oh. basic bunk room. I mean, it's very, very little. It's not. There's a lot of help. This firehouse. There's times when we lay down 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. We get up every half an hour. Wow. Um, last term, between midnight and 5:30 in the morning. It's a so Michelle want to know if she could slide down the pole. <laughs> there is no pole. I don't. <laughs> that was go. Lamar. We've that was Lamar. All the poles in the city uh, oh, long before I came on. Lamar. So she, yeah, don't look. She was it. looking forward to it. I know. The first no. thing she said. <laughs> she said. Lying. No. The first thing she said. No. Okay, we're, we're going to the fire. I said, yeah. Lamar's said, lying. I'll okay, are you getting this on tape? She said Lamar she wanted to slide down the pole, and they don't even. They haven't done poles since 1999. I knew there wasn't any poles. Right. Yeah, my dad, my dad's a police officer, so and I've been it. This is not my first time here. He is so lying right, right. now. So I, I thought Michelle said, Michelle, we're going to do the show at the fire fire. Uh, she said, oh, I've been, I've been going to slide down one of those poles <laughs> since she's seen Ghostbusters. I'm like, I said, no. Michelle, I said, you're going to. I can't blame you. Listen. You can't listen to I said, to Michelle, him. you're going to be a little disappointed because they got rid of poles <laughs> in 1999. Hey, whose side are you on? Are you on my side or his side? He's bigger than me. <laughs> Michelle wanted to slide down the he won't, do, he won't do anything to you. He's a beast. <laughs> so coming in here, this is Battalion Chief Washington Ball's office, BC3's office. Lamar Michelle, 
Hi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. explain to you how we respond within the city. This is the map we operate of. This is the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, obviously, you see the Three Rivers. You'll be familiar with this area, North Shore Drive, Pines Field. So the fire oh, this is it right here? This is it right here. Uh, the way we operate in the fire, we, we split the city up into four zones. Mm -hmm. okay. so I, I would need a 3D map because this doesn't uh, work for me. <laughs> well, you know, as you get older. See, I need it high as it. I need to see the field right there. I'm like, okay. There is a magnifying glass. Yeah, don't you guys, I thought we saw a magnifying there, glass. There somewhere. is a magnifying glass right there. That's it. And of course, I don't go anywhere without these. Readers. <laughs> Take the test. Y'all need an extra hand tonight? Pardon? Extra hand? Y'all need an extra hand? Yeah, you want to stay. 24 you hours? I have to stay, stay up? Oh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. We're on the downhill side now. we got less than 12 to go. So 24 wow. and then three days off. And three days off. Unless you work overtime. See, I'll be one of them guys doing that 24 hours. I just hope you know, nothing happens. <laughs> well, sometimes. <laughs> You know, that'll give you a good 24 hours. And three hours, like, oh, I'm off three days. <laughs> Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. Yeah. Get some, Joey. You can, you can let me do a spot like you're struggling. You know what I'm saying? You ready? <laughs> Even in the firehouse, you got to work out. Oh, no, I don't want to show them yet. Why the weight room here in the, in the fire department? Just, you know. You know, some of the things that we do are kind of demanding, and we've got to then take care of our bodies. You know, we're here for 24 hours, some time to kill on occasion. You know, I told you we're one of the busiest firehouses in the city, right. but there is still some time. A lot of the guys want to take, you know, they, they do some cardio in the cardio room, mm -hmm. lift some weights, because I mean, when you're fighting a fire, it's definitely... So you don't have to be in, in physical shape. Decent shape, yeah. Yeah, you got to be in physical obviously, shape. Obviously, right? obviously. I knew that was coming, too. <laughs> We'll edit that out, okay? Round is a shake, Lamar. Round is a shake. Yeah, oh no, that's right. <laughs> it's so all like, work out. It's yeah. like Casey Hampton. I'm changing over no, the no, whole side, no. Lamar. No, it's, no, no. Thank Listen, you. It's like, it's like, it's like Casey Hampton. He's in shape, but he's just a big guy. But he's in shape. There's muscle underneath. This portion of the Lamar Woodley Show was brought to you by Hometown Sports. We had a great time today, Lamar. You got to tour the place. You went on a ladder. You went to the gym. Are you ready to be a firefighter? Oh, definitely. I think this is going to complete. This is going to complete me for the rest of the day. Have an opportunity to put the um, put the uniform on. It definitely will. And Firefighter Skatina already told us to do so. Right, how you doing? How you doing? Thank We're ready. You. Let's go. Oh, excellent. You might want to sanitize that. <laughs> she got bad feet. See, I'm almost finished. I think I'll be a better firefighter than Lamar. See, come on, Lamar. Being that you get done fast, I'm gonna be done to get it right. This is so heavy. You might get the jacket on faster. We want to thank Pittsburgh Firehouse Number 8 for having us here today. We had a good time, Lamar, didn't we? I had a great time. I mean, I feel like a real firefighter right now. You know, only thing left for me to get in that truck, but also make sure that you change your batteries on your smoke detectors when you change your clock. Because this month is Fire Prevention Month. Thanks for joining us on the Lamar Whitley Show. This is Peace Law TV.